Scotch Test Dummies with Scott and Bart. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We've got a couple of Del Box. Del Box. They're single malt whiskeys. 100% malted barley. Pot and still, we're going to test it! Arizona style. The skeet style. Oh, good. Boom! Yeah. All right, so we've got their classic is on your guys' right. Classic is in our Glen Cairns. Our left. Yes. The Dorado, is am I saying it right? Yes, the Dorado is in the Capita glass, and that is like uh, smoked over mesquite. It's mesquite smoked. The, sing, the, sing, the, the malted barley is. So, uh, give a little background though, Carino won has sent us a couple of Dell Box. He's a fan, super Scotch God fan. Sent this old distiller's cut right here. Yep. Well, which, I think all of them. Yeah, which fell in love with that right away. Loved it. Then there's a winter release. And then they did a bottle style for this distiller's cut, which is really dark. That was my only complaint. Very subdued. These are not dark, but this is, but it's a distiller's cut. And I believe everything Dell Box does are uh, single malts. A malted whiskey. Um, yes, yes. It's it's a hundred. These are both one hundred percent malted barley, um, copper pot still, and it's made. Veronica Townsend uh, is their the head distiller, head distiller and maltster. Maltster, and she works in the Scottish tradition, is my understanding. Okay. And uh, and then the other cool side is, and I'm trying to remember the name. So, the owner has a business that deals in furniture that's made out of mesquite wood. They had leftover mesquite. Put it to use. Hmm. Genius. Yeah. Good. Now I haven't had either of these. I know you broke. You've broke these open and sampled both of them. This. Uh, the classic is just an American single malt. Right. And then the Dorado is the mesquite smoked. ABV on both. Yep. Yeah. So this mesquite smoked, and this is just yep. an American single malt. So I'll get into the classic. There you go. I'll go classic oh, yeah. as well. Yep. Got some of that, that southwest so, southern mm, heat. Yeah, the sagebrush, Ooh. the uh, brown sugar, and then yeah, that burned sagebrush kind of there. A little bit of raw raw tobacco. Is that a thing? Raw tobacco? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, a tobacco leaf. Tobacco leaf. Maybe even a little winter green. Yeah. Pine. I'm curious. I don't know if it says. Well, Stephen so, Paul. Now, yeah, so leading up to Carino One and sent us the others, we'd reviewed those. Del Bach actually re reached out to us after we had reviewed those. Del Bach did send these to us, did arrange for us to get these. So, right. grain of salt. Yep. Nice nose, though, on the classic. Here's what I love, though. Everybody knows, so I wear it right on my sleeve. I love American single malts. You can call them Texas single malts, you can call them whatever. But single malts, developed in that Scottish style in America. And they do all kinds of different things, case in point here. So, love it. Very nice initial palette, very rich, nice depth. Um, caramels, brown sugars, uh, tumbleweed. A lot of tumbleweed. Um, man, it's brown sugars and some, some like ginger spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get a little ginger spice mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Now in the finish, that's when the oak for me kind of comes through. I get that wood oakiness. Sweet caramels, caramels. Yeah. <laughs> tomato, tomato. I think someone called it called me a uh, a hayseed or a. a some term when I said caramel instead of caramel. But there's a proper pronunciation. I was working in the bullpen, and uh, I believe Hans used caramel, and I or somebody used caramel, and I was calling him fancy. So he quickly looked it up, and they are both allowed pronunciations spelled out caramel or caramel. Hmm. So both are fine. 
Add a drop of water to that one, then I'll come I back lost, to it. Let me have a little drop. I lost that argument because I was like, nope, it's caramel. I don't know what this caramel business you're doing. <laughs> then he there's, schooled me. There's no second A yeah. in there. That's right. It's yeah, not Webster, caramel. Webster's Dictionary schooled me. <laughs> I'm going to move on. I'm going to let that drop of water sit there. Oh, by the way, uh, coin 604 and 606. Ooh, 602 and 603 because people want to know the numbers of our coins. <laughs> We'll talk about that in another, another video another as soon as I can find the comment. That's a hint. I couldn't find it. Uh, swish the palette here a little yes, bit. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Great minds thinking alike. The nose on the mesquite is, is um, it's not completely different, but that mesquite is jumping right out at you. Uh, the smoke. You know, I get a little bit of the cherry still in this classic too. That part harkens me back. Um, oh, what is it? I was taking me back. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. It was taking me back to another American Westland. It, it reminded me of Westlands. A little bit of cherry there. A little bit. The Southwest is strong in this one. <laughs> the mesquite. The smoke. Oh, yeah. That mesquite's climbing right out of there. Wow. I, it's like there's a stake somewhere nearby. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Mesquite, smoke, steak. Wow, that is pleasant. really kind of. You can tell it's a it's a a sibling to the to the classic. Same kind of uh, rich nose, caramels, caramels, <laughs> caramels. Wow. Hmm. Now I'm a big fan of the smoke. I like the peat smoke. <coughs> I like this too. This is softer, gentler smoke, a rounder smoke. Yeah. Definitely present. Definitely there. Really same plate flavor profile you got, you're getting with the classic. With add, a touch of smoke. Add a touch a of mesquite smoke. Of smoke. Maybe even seems a little bit more um, Texas to Southwest style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Both very nice. A lot of cinnamon. More cinnamon with the mesquite or the dorado. Now is it dorado or dorado? <laughs> dorado. That could be another. Should or Doradu. <laughs> I do like the Doradu. <laughs> that would be the hayseed way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, call it. That's it. I'm adding the Doradu. Henceforth, it's the Doradu. <laughs> the Doradu the is what I like. The Delbach Doradu, baby, hits me in a sweet spot. Mm. <laughs> it's me in a sweet spot, the door do. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta add the do in there, you gotta door do. Door do. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the classic with a drop of water. Ooh, I added a drop to the good. mesquite. I love well when you the, make me laugh. Door do. Door do. The door do. do. It's like finding gold in the door do. <laughs> drop of water did not hurt the classic. Actually, might have even made it a little bit more penetrating into the taste buds, into the mouthfeel. A little, little bit, bit velveter. Velveter? Velveter, more the, velvety. The mesquite smoke gives me a little bit, hmm, what was it? I got a little bit of like a, a twang, a twang to it, a little sour touch, like that sour wood. Well, I'm very impressed with both. Yeah. I believe kind of core range or kind of their, um, uh, not necessarily entry bottles, but their uh, base. Sure. Would you say base yes. bottles? I do not know what these go for. So when you mm -hmm. ask later, I do not know. Boy, I just love the nose of this classic, though. I mean, this the mesquite stands up present. You can get it on there, but this classic just gives me those cherries, those brown sugars, touch of the oak. I'm just looking for main anything different besides the mesquite and the Doradu over the classic. <laughs> Both, um, I mean, they're pretty, pretty darn close. Outside of that bit, Doradu is perfect, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just fits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Henceforth, <laughs> yes. shall be known Doradu. Uh, you just get like a little. A little extra half ounce if you say Dora Do when you go into the Delbach bar. Yeah. 
I'd be like, dummy, you get an extra half ounce. Now I would tell you the uh, so several years ago we did Balcones Brimstone, mm -hmm. which is I believe it's mesquite smoke. It is. That I, I think did yeah. not did, did not hit my palate. It might warm up on you now. It maybe it would. A bit. I tried it a little while ago. I was you doing, still got it? Yeah. The brims. Oh wait, I gave mine away. Did you get one? Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. I've got a whole yeah. collection down there. I love it. Yeah. It warmed up. Really? I'll yeah. try it again. I mean, I love their single malts, but yeah. Um, hints of that same mesquite here, uh, just not quite as strong, I don't think, from what I remember. I remember the brimstone being a lot more potent with that mesquite smoke. I think it might have been the new bottle, though, too, because I remember that overwhelming and being very different. It's yeah. much more subdued mm -hmm. now. I like this it. is starting off a little more relaxed, though. Yeah. This is not like, nicely done. Yeah, it's not punching you in the face. It's not overpowering you. It's just announcing itself as different. I don't have my uh, score pad with me here. My iPad, my score pad, my iPad for my doodle buddy. I would go. I don't know where I'm at. Eighty-eight on both. Mm -hmm. I was eighty-eight on the classic. Eighty-seven on the door. Really? Too. Yeah, the mesquite throws just a bit. I actually like the classic a little bit better. So both very solid, though. I am loving what is going on with all these American single malts. I mean, Del Bach is killing it, and I gotta. I can't say it enough. When I got a taste of this, I went nuts. I remember saying, I think you'd poured it, and I'm like, that's going to win a bunch of awards. Oh, yeah. Tucson, Arizona. I do like this bottle style better. <laughs> I know I, this is much more typical, but I love this bottle style. Obviously, it's gone away, so I'll make my piece. An ancient term, Del Bach, is from the place where the river reappears in the sand, is what Del Bach means. I've got to try a little bit of this. This just knocked my socks off. These are great. This That's knocked my socks off. funny because just before we started, you told me you was only drinking pouring a little light. bit. I'm going to pour light. Pouring light. I'm not neck pulling. <laughs> uh, Scotch God, or not a Scotch God shout out. We had a comment. I suppose it's a Scotch God shout out. Pedro J. Martinez Fraga on uh, Lead Slinger's Bourbon, which was it is an old review of ours, but Pedro says a very poor analysis, not to mention a foundational <laughs> lack of basic knowledge. I hope you guys have a day job. Ooh, we do. We do, Pedro. We Thank do, you, Pedro. Pedro, try that. Our day jobs. Yeah, this sixty point two five. They blew this out. Oh of wow. Water. Yeah. That's Ooh. the. Only, I mean, this is great, and you can tell it turns into that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Couple of Patreon supporters have come in. Hope you got a day job. Which show was that? Lead Slingers Bourbon mm. Review Number One Ninety One, which we're, we're we're probably around eight hundred. Yeah, actually, quit yeah. quit counting. Right, we're around eight hundred. But in fact is, I need to update the uh, spreadsheet. Oh. Um. See this one right here. This would be a shout out. Three dollar supporter. Whiskey Stream Fi. Ready? Fi. Oh. Whiskey Stream Five. Woo! Yeah, send in a picture. Give a double shout out. Yep. You gotta cover the pickle. <laughs> I thought that was Florida from a distance. I thought, wow, Whiskey Stream lives in Florida. And one dollar supporter, oh. Brandon McTaggart. Brandon McTaggart. By the way, Brandon <laughs> just sent a, a Patreon message today. I know this will be post the live show, but we're doing a special Patreon only show. We haven't been able to do that in a while. And he was just making sure that I've, I've announced it, but we'll send that link out via Patreon about 20, 15 minutes before the show. He commented. Movie quiz. What 1980s cop movie yes. had a detective named Taggart? Sure, yeah, Beverly Hills Cop 2. Well, one. Or one, both. Probably both. both. Yeah. I like Taggart. two, man, yeah. It wasn't Mick Taggart, but <laughs> no, it was Taggart. Taggart. He's the older guy, right? And yeah, the the older older, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always because what's his name's always got the big guns and all the machine <laughs> yeah. guns. And Balder, Taggart, Beverly Hills Cop, and Beverly Hills right. Cop Two. But Cop Two is where he gets the mansion with the. I pool. don't even remember. <laughs> no, that was the first one. Okay. 
That was the first one when right. he goes. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway. All right. From Detroit. Check Scotch out. Oh. Check out ScotchTestDummies.com for merchandise. Help support the show. Support Coins. us on Patreon and um, our shirts. You can buy. There's a link right down below the video. Click on for our T-shirts, and uh, or you can get them off of the website as well. But yeah. All right. All right. Now. Scotch it, you. Scotch. Gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.